Might Europe be on the cusp of a new era of nuclear power? Well, beginning today, the controversial energy source is getting more support on the EU level as the Czech Republic assumes the EU Council presidency. Leaders there say pushing up support for atomic energy is a priority. Now, parts of Europe, Germany, Denmark, and Austria in particular, have fiercely opposed efforts to encourage nuclear in the past. Prague, however, sees things differently. A special delivery from Russia as the war rages in Ukraine. Uranium fuel rods are being delivered to the Temely nuclear power plant in the Czech Republic. Many lights would go out in the country without the Russian uranium fuel rods. Nuclear power accounts for 40% of the country's energy production. The delivered fuel rods will keep the nuclear reactors running for the next few years. I'm for nuclear energy. It's one of the few energy sources where everything works. I'm a geologist. I know about it and I have a clear opinion. We should have built more nuclear power plants long ago. Then we would have safe energy today. The Czech Republic's two nuclear power plants at Temelin and Dukovani are aging. Both were built during the Soviet era. The reactor in Dukovani is a mix of Western control technology and Soviet engineering. The nuclear power plant has never reached Western safety standards. There were repeated emergency shutdowns caused by defective components. Meanwhile, the expansion of renewable energies has been prevented and delayed. The geographical location of our country is not good for wind energy. For example, we don't have a sea where the wind blows strongly. And we don't have much sun, especially in winter. That's why nuclear energy is so important in our energy mix. The Czech Republic has never had a significant anti-nuclear movement. One of the country's few well-known opponents is Karel Polaneski. He's critical of the government's plans to build two new nuclear power plants by 2036. It's perceived as a major capacity of the country to master a complicated technology like nuclear power. Many people are proud of the fact that the Czech Republic can organize the construction of a nuclear power plant. It's seen as something positive. The latest uranium fuel rods from Russia will keep the Czech nuclear reactors online for another three to four years. After that, they will be replaced by Western-made ones, which will have to be technically adapted. Karen Piddle heads the IFO Center for Energy, Climate and Resources in Munich. She joins me for more. Uh, Karen, I want to start with Germany. We just heard about the Czech Republic there. Um, Germany is phasing out nuclear energy. At the same time, it's facing an energy crunch in the short term because of Russia and in the long term because of climate. Is it just a matter of time before Berlin begins to take nuclear seriously again? Um, I don't believe, the, uh, believe so, at least not in the long run. Um, there is at the moment discussions about uh, prolonging the duration at which the remaining three, it's only three um, power plants could be running. So either kind of like letting them run longer with the existing or the already the fuel rods already in place or uh, have one more round if you want of new f fuel rods. But in the long term, I don't see a future of nuclear energy in Germany. What's the biggest opposition from Germany? Briefly, if you can, there's a long history, of course, behind this. But how would you explain this to viewers who might not be familiar with it? I mean, it's a couple of issues, but I think safety is one of the main concerns. And also the question, what do you do with the fuel rods once they are taken out of the reactor and have to be stored somewhere permanently? So both aspects are really um, behind the um, discussion about nuclear energy, and now combined also with the fact that renewable energies have become so much cheaper in the last decades. We know that Czech Republic and France are among those countries planning build-outs. Belgium and Korea have reversed their plans to phase out nuclear. Um, is nuclear a long-term solution for these countries, or is it just a bridging to get to perhaps a wider build-out of renewables? What are we seeing? I mean, for some countries, it's actually something that they want to pursue in the long run. The Czech Republic, for example, um, they are opposing the stipulations in the taxonomy, in the EU taxonomy so far, 
um, that it is only to be considered as a bridging technology. They really want to use nuclear power to actually decarbonize their power system in the long run. You mentioned the EU taxonomy that, of course, uh, sort of ranks or I would say provides a pathway for investors to um, invest in energy sources that are considered green or that are in accordance with a climate transition. Nuclear has controversially been put on there, though that's sort of wobbling right now. In your opinion, does it help nuclear uh, for it to be on that list? Is that something that should happen? In my opinion, it does help nuclear because if you're on that list, you more easily uh, get access to state funding, public funding, public support um, for building new power plants. So that definitely helps. Uh, the question whether it should be on there is a different one. And I do not believe so because it's not a green technology. It might be climate neutral technology or at least with low loads. Um, but to consider it green and with low environmental hazards I find that really problematic, but the same holds, of course, also with respect to nuclear gas, which is uh, natural gas, which is also on that list. The IEA, the International Energy Agency, released a report uh, today saying that nuclear needs to play or should be considered as a major a part of climate transitions for many countries, and that without nuclear, it will be much more difficult. Is Germany putting itself in a bind by not going to nuclear as it tries to transition to climate-friendly energy sources and stay away uh, from Russian energy? I do not believe at this point anymore. Um, if we had decided earlier to stay in nuclear power, it might make a difference. But starting to build new nuclear power plants now, as I said, we only have three remaining that are running, uh, would take very long. So it would take 10 to 15 years to buy, build the new ones. And also nuclear power is by no means cheap when you buy uh, build new nuclear power plants. So for Germany, as an option to decrease their emissions from, or our emissions from um, power production fast, it is not really an option. All right, Karen Pittles, director of the IFO Center for Energy, Climate and Resources. Thank you very much.